Hey everyone here. Hey, this is a, probably about the, I think it's the second week of December here. Wow, it's a beautiful sunny day. We're about 60 degrees here, and uh, yeah, it's uh, Christmas is approaching here real soon, and uh, not that we need any uh, extra treats, but uh, we've been getting a lot of extra treats. Uh, we're not sending them away or nothing, but uh, we got a whole uh, nice box of candy apples, and uh, yes, lots of chocolates, and more chocolates. So yeah, so we're not on a diet season yet, right now, so come January 1st we might be though. So we do appreciate all the treats that everyone give us. Uh, a lot of businesses that, that we work with uh, have been uh, doting us with uh, treats, and that goes a long way. Uh, I think, like Matthew said in the last video, it's the small things in life that that make you happy, so uh, or make us happy, anyhow. So, so, so if ever anyone's watching this that has given us stuff, we really do appreciate it. Um, even just a little candy apple or a few chocolates. So, so thank you. Hey everyone, uh, we're out here in, uh, in group two right now. Uh, one thing that we're gonna do is, and what we've been doing is we need to move these, uh, we call them neck rails. Um, that's when uh, when the cows stand up, it kind of puts them, uh, pushes them back a little bit and makes them get out of the stall so they don't uh, do their business in the stall and get to keep the stalls all dirty. So, well, uh, some of the bolts have been getting loose um so we're just moving those back uh to where they should be again uh so we'll be doing a whole bunch of different uh alleyways and stuff um getting ready to do some milking tonight uh, this is Friday night and hey uh, Morgan is taking off tonight because she is heading on a uh, little trip here soon so couldn't find no replacements tonight so here we are we get to uh, get me tonight milking along with uh, Max and a uh, little Tess she's gonna help us out tonight also so I got a new microphone on the camera we'll see how it works uh, my other one hasn't been working very good, so if this microphone don't work, hey, probably gonna have to buy a new camera. So come along, we're gonna do a little milking and uh, see how things go tonight. All right, we got Max here. He's getting ready to head out and get some cows. Uh, Tess here tonight. She's gonna gonna learn, do a little bit of learning tonight. Uh, so we'll. Uh, Max has all the milkers all ready to go here. We just gotta pop them off uh, and uh, get them all lined up here. Uh, There'll be cows uh, coming in here real soon, so let the good times roll. Probably about Tessa's age when I first started milking cows. Uh, we were actually milking down in, uh, in another older parlor here. But uh, we built this parlor here in uh, early 90s. I was in seventh grade, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty uh, pretty neat deal uh, to have a new parlor. So 
So Tess and Max and Morgan and Praise, they won't really know much more than just this parlor and uh, and robots. So so it's uh, kind of cool. We got the girls coming in here. We'll just come on down here and uh, get a few of them in, give you a little view of where uh, the parlor is. Uh, the robots are in the barn beside us. Um, in the back of the parlor here we have three pens that uh, these are our maternity pens for the usually the first time uh, heifers we usually keep them in here and that's usually where they have their calves so cows are coming uh, coming in from this group over here and they'll come in through here and uh, then the next group will be over here uh, so just just two groups that we run to the parlor uh, right around 200 cows so Max will bring them in and uh, we don't have to scrape afterwards the barn flushes so that's kind of nice also so we'll get the parlor loaded up here and we'll start milking all right so in here in the parlor uh, we got the first batch on here uh, these meters I don't know if you can read them but uh, like this cow here is giving 32 pounds tonight this cow is 26 pounds 15 uh, on a three times a day milking um, so this is the the milking that they'll give the least amount um, so these meters weigh the milk down here and uh, but the computer system's not set up to go to the computer so we just have to visually look at them and uh, that's how we kind of know if the cows are off or not so um, Max thinks it's nice and warm tonight. He's donned his t-shirt. So he's getting uh, the tea cups all filled up. So whenever the cows are done milking, we will put uh, put deep uh, tit dip on them. So uh, Max is a, a junior in high school right now. He's probably milking in here since what, junior high? Oh, he's yeah, so he's got quite a few years. Uh, experience in here, so. Do the fronts first, Tess. Oh. Huh? All right. Yeah, even uh, even Brutus decided to join us tonight. Huh, Brody? Huh? You want to play tonight? Oh, there's Charlotte too. Hey, you want to come get pet too? Yeah. Come here, girl. Come here. There we go. So this is Charlotte. That's her little boy Brutus. So they're always uh. They're always up for a good little pet, especially this little guy. He is kind of an attention hog. Okay, we got uh, the first hundred and uh, 109 cows done. Uh, last one was exiting, and uh, now Max will head out and uh, and uh, grab the next group in here. So one down, one to go, huh, Tessie? Yeah, yeah. All right, we got one jersey here in the whole farm. And, uh, Scoop. you want to go pet or test? I can't. Uh, yeah, not right now. Okay. 
now. Might help if I open up the gate. There she is. Yeah, we got one jersey. Uh, the only one we got. She's kind of a little pet. Uh, not quite sure we're gonna have any more jerseys though. They really don't fit our uh, our build here.